Hey everybody, it's Fuller from Worship Tutorials and I'm excited about today's video. We are going to be showing you how to play back multi-track files or stems in a free audio workstation, a digital audio workstation otherwise known as a DAW, a DAW, called Audacity. Uh, the purpose of this video, uh, we've had a lot of people requesting a tutorial on how to play back tracks multi-tracks that is and how to do it without having to invest in a lot of expensive software now there's all kinds of ways to play back a multi-track file or stems um, but first I'm going to explain what a multi-track is a multi-track is basically a song that has been made available with all of the instruments as separate audio files so when you listen to a recording you'll hear a stereo track, a left and right of the whole mix of the song, the band, the vocals, everything. A multi-track actually makes available all of the instruments on separate tracks so they can be isolated. For example, you'll have a drum track, a bass track, a guitar track, vocals, uh, synths, pads, piano, you name it, it'll be on there. Um, and obviously these are a lot of files. One song would typically have anywhere from 8 to 25 tracks and so what you need is a software to play multiple tracks in sync with each other there are a lot of different types of dolls out there you've probably heard of Pro Tools Digital Performer, Logic, Ableton Live you name it um, there's something for everybody out there however some of those are pretty expensive so what we are what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to use multitracks with a free DAW called Audacity. So what you're gonna need is two things to successfully use multitracks. One, you're gonna need the multitrack files. You can get these from various sources on the, on the internet. You can purchase uh, multitrack files from worship tutorials as we continue to build our library. Um, either way, you need the multitrack file and then you need a software to play it back. So today, we're going to use a piece of software called Audacity. And so what you're gonna wanna do, if you don't have it already, you're gonna open up a web browser and you're gonna to go to audacityteam.org and you are going to download Audacity. Uh, if you got Windows or Mac, uh, or if you're using Linux for some reason, um, they have three available. This is a completely free software. So you'll click on that link and then you'll download the one you need and install that. I'm not gonna go into all of that. Um, you can, I'm sure, figure out how to install that on your computer. Once you have that installed on your computer, the next thing you need to do is you need to go to Worship Tutorials and you need to log into your account after you've purchased a multi-track and I've logged in you click my account and it's gonna show you your files that are available you can see here I've purchased Alive and Good Good Father now you see a lot of different ones these are one for each of the 12 keys um, which is awesome about worship tutorials multi-tracks they come in all 12 keys so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do uh, the Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin in the key of G. So you click on that file and that is a zip file. You'll see here you're gonna save that and that's gonna save. You'll see up here it's downloading and uh, and then what you'll do is close out your browser after that's done downloading and then I have already downloaded it. So what I've done is I've made a folder on my desktop called Worship Tutorials Multitracks. Inside this is where you want to put that file you just downloaded. So here it is, G Good Good Father dot ZIP. That's a zip file. First thing you're going to want to do is double click that and you should have an archive utility installed. If you if you don't, the computer will probably ask you to do that. Um, then it's going to spawn a folder here. Inside this folder is what we call the stems. There are, I believe, 18, yeah, 18 tracks or stems. Each one of these is a separate audio file. And so what our goal is, is to import all of these into the software called Audacity 
and play them all back together. And once we do that, we can mix and match and do all kinds of cool things. So let's get started. Um, we are gonna open Audacity, which I've already installed on my computer. And little screens pop up, just hit OK. So as you see right now, this window right here is completely empty. So there is no music. Now I will say this, for a free program, Audacity does a lot of cool stuff. You really can't complain when you haven't paid a penny for it. Um, it is limited, but it's going to do what we need it to do. I'm not going to really explore much about this program other than how to import the tracks and play them back um, make separate mixes for your band or whatever you want to do um, so first thing we're going to do go to file import audio and it's going to open up your directory you're going to click on wherever that folder is that you made with your track so worship tutorial multi-tracks good good father don't click on the zip file, that won't do anything. You wanna click on the folder, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna expand this so we can see everything. I'm gonna select all of these bad boys and hit open. What's this? What this is gonna do, it's gonna import all of these files into this play window. You can see up here as it's importing, this zero is the beginning of the song. The song is gonna play left to right. And as you can see, these numbers right here are timestamps. This is a minute, minute 15, minute 30, minute 45, etc., to the end of the song. Now you see these tracks loading as they are read, um, uh, which is really cool. And you'll see that they are going to line up from left to right. You'll see as various instruments come in. This is called a wave file here. So um, you've got the top and the bottom which is a left and a right signal these are mostly stereo tracks and uh, once this is done loaded we are going to uh, show you how to play it back uh, it'll take a few seconds to import these files now I will say this uh, being a free program the uh, graphic interface is not very exciting um, there's not a lot of colors or design at all but again it's free so you know can't complain so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna you got this scroll over here on the right you can scroll up you can see there's 18 tracks uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to view and we are going to fit vertically and what that's gonna do actually we're gonna go to uh, see where is it we're gonna go to view it collapse all tracks and so what this does is this makes them as small as possible so you can see all of them from the top to the bottom and then we're also gonna zoom out uh, horizontally as well so you'll see where these lines are anywhere there's blue is a wave that's actually playing anywhere there's just a flat line that's just blank audio space but obviously um, you need that so that all the files keep in sync um, you'll see here too right here right uh, right around five minutes and 15 seconds the song ends then everything past this is just dead space now another thing you're going to want to do before you start playing back so right now we're looking at the the wave files uh, and then the uh, Audacity, as it imported it, it did keep the names. You'll see that's uh, Good Good Father G B three. Now, what you can do, you can go here and you can delete these and clean the names up a little bit, uh, which I'm actually going to do uh, just to keep it uh, nice and simple. And you can see the names are being shortened here. Uh, it'll be easier to navigate. Trust me. Once you do this, so let me do this real quick. Okay, now we've renamed all the tracks, and as you can see over here, it's a little bit easier to read. You got the B3, the piano track, the acoustic guitar high, the acoustic guitar main stem, bass, BGVs, electric guitar one, two, three, and four. You got some organish pads. You got the click track. This is really important. You've got the cues. You've got uh, cymbals and toms. You've got drum overhead mics. You've got kick, snare and you got shaker and tambourine and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reorder these as well because I want to put the cues uh, to the top I want to put the click track to the top and then we're going to put 
drums. I like moving this stuff around. We're going to move kick up here. If you just click in this little window, oops, moved it too far. Right in this window here, you can bring it down. So we're going to go kick, snare. I like to put these in a logical order uh, the way I would in a band setting. And we're going to go snare. Again, this is a little bit sluggish, but again, it's free. So we're not going to be complaining today. We're going to be grateful that people have worked hard to make available a software that we can use for our ministry and not have to go broke. So I'm going to move these. I'm going to go shaker. And this is not necessary. It's part of me being a little bit obsessive compulsive, uh, but also uh, I just like being able to navigate quickly. I always put the bass after the drums. Oop, that's BGVs. Where's bass? There it is. I like to put the bass after the drums. I like to put the BGVs last. Put pads. Piano, acoustic guitars, electric guitars. So now we have the order of everything that we want. And once everything's lined up, you can actually hit play and you should hear music. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Intro. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now you've got the tracks playing. Everything's in perfect sync. Verse. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you can jump later four, into the five, song. Six. Now I want to show you a trick here too as well. You can go to view mixer board and then this is where you're going to go to um, mix and adjust the sound levels. So here is the waves, what's being played, but here is the level or the volume that they're being played out. And one cool thing about Audacity is when you import the files, uh, the way they're named, if you, you can see here that they actually import images, which actually is kind of a huge help um, when you're bouncing around uh, navigating. You can see all the guitars here and stuff. Um, and so what you can do here, this is really cool. Um, you can pan things. And uh, so let's go to, uh, let's hit play. Go back to the mixer board. Oh, we're at the end. Sorry about that. Let's go to here. And we're playing here. Course. Go to the four, mixer board. Five, six. So if you solo something, you will hear just that. If you mute something, you will hear everything but that. So let's hear here. So you go over here, you can also, this is uh, left and right. So if you want to pan things in the mix, you can do that. Um, you can bring the volume up and down. So if you want to make things louder, and here's where this gets really cool. So you have a multi-track and say, say you don't want drums. You just mute the drums, shakers, tambourines, all that stuff. And you'll only have what's left. Now, one of the things that you can really do here is say you want to learn the guitar parts. So let's go to, let's see where we're or, at here. This course. Is, this is course. Three, four, five, okay, so we're here queued up at the course. Five, six. And what I want to do is I want to mute everything except the high acoustic guitar part because I want to learn that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all the guitars, all the background vocals. Actually, you know what? I might leave the background vocals just as a reference. And I'm going to leave the click track, excuse me, click track. I'm going to bring it down a little bit though. And I'm going to leave the cues. I'm going to bring that down in volume. So now what I'm going to hear is I'm going to hear a little bit of cues, a little bit of click. I'm going to hear the high acoustic part right in here. There's BGVs. See how that works? And maybe I want to mute the click and the cues 
and the vocals and all I want to hear is that acoustic part and I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit too and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try to learn this part so let's go to the beginning right here you can see here is where it starts So I might want one of my guitar, uh, guitar players in the band to learn that part, um, and you, I can tell by listening to it uh, that it was uh, an acoustic guitar recorded with a capo up high, playing different chord voicings to give it a little bit of color as opposed to the regular acoustic part, which is here. So we'll mute that and just have the uh, solo the regular acoustic, and it'll go here. So that's the regular original acoustic part. Again, you can pan it left, pan it right, whatever you want to do. So as you can see, this gives you complete freedom and control over these tracks, which is really neat. Um, and one thing, let me show you one more little trick before I go, um, which is super helpful. Um, I find it very cool. So you get the multi-track. Maybe you want your electric guitar player to learn just that one lead part. So let's uh, go here. And uh, I'm going to isolate this uh, track here. So we're going to find that track. Go to the electrics. And we're going to unmute these. And what we're going to do is we're going to isolate one of those to learn. So let's go to the course. There it is. Maybe I want the guitar player to just learn those chords, or maybe I want him to learn this part here. That's a really cool part. Let's turn this up. So say I want the guitar player to learn that part. This is what's really cool. So let me bring in the click, and let me bring in the cues, and let me show you what's really cool here. So I'm going to make a recording of this to give to the guitar player. And I'm going to say, hey, man, learn this part right here. And then they don't have to spend all night trying to pick out a part when they can just listen to it real easy and learn it. So the, here it is. So we're soloing that. Now, let's bounce that. So bouncing basically means you're going to take whatever's playing and make it into its own file. So I'm going to pick it up right, I'm going to select, I'm going to grab the select tool and I'm going to highlight to the end of that. Once I do that, remember all these other tracks are muted because they're grayed out. When you mute them, they gray out. So now I'm going to go to file, export selected audio. I'm going to go back to my multi-tracks folder, good, good father. I'm going to make a new folder called band mix. Okay. Cause I'm going to give these to my band going to create that folder and then under band mix I'm going to call this mix that I've got here um, electric guitar one parts and click only then I'm going to hit down here I'm going to choose mp3 you can choose any sort of format you want now if you do choose mp3 it's probably going to ask you to download a um, a plugin which is free also um, that'll take a few minutes I've already got that on my computer so Right now you see it's bouncing, and um, here it goes, and it does it pretty quick actually. So, boom, we're done. So we're gonna save this file, and I'm gonna close this out, so we're just gonna go back here and save this as master. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the folder, we're gonna open it up, good, good father, and open my folder band mix and there it is that's the song that we just recorded with just the parts and let's just listen to a second of that got click course Two, three four five six and there it is so now your guitar player can just learn this part and uh, save you a lot of time at rehearsal save him some headache or her and then uh, when you guys get together it'll sound just like the album so there's a lot of a lot of advantages to using multi-tracks, you know, they're obvious, uh, obviously you can use them in worship to accentuate the band uh, or to cover musicians that aren't available. Uh, there's also the opportunity to break down the song in its parts and learn them 
and then also the opportunity to create mixes for your band members and have them learn the parts. So it's a really great thing. So that's it for today for this tutorial on how to use multi-tracks in a free digital audio workstation called Audacity. We're going to be doing more tutorials on how to use multi-tracks in the other DAWs such as Pro Tools, Digital Performer, Logic, Ableton Live, all those things. So hope you have enjoyed this and I hope this is helpful to your ministry and I hope that God uses it to enhance your worship experience. Have a great one. Peace.